Hi guys, you guys from here. Today, in this episode, we're going to be talking about my Evil deck, or Evil Sor, Evil Tile, Evil something for the dragons. Sorry that videos are kind of scattered, still kind of figuring out the whole school thing. Yeah, it's been a while already, still figuring out. Sorry. Without further ado, let's move on. Videos by Yu-Gi-Oh! Smurf. Be creative. Okay, I lied. One more note. Uh, so this Evil deck actually has 45 cards, doesn't have a complete extra deck. What this Evil deck is, is just something that I have, that I actually play with. And it's not something super competitive or anything, it's just something fun that I made to have fun with. But nonetheless, you can still see a lot of useful things with my build. Alright, so we're going to start off with three Evil Tile Westlows. These are the main guys. When they're flipped up, you can supposed to summon Evil Sword from your deck. Kind of the main engine, big beefy defense. Evil Tile Najishu. He's got a cool effect that when he's tributed, you get supposed to summon one. Combos off. Evil Tile Lagisho can, allows you to set up the graveyard and your hand for other plays with Evil Swords and Evil Tiles. We only run one Evil Tile Casinora. He's basically like our little rescue rabbit engine for the deck. Our main Evil Sword creature is Serato. We run three of him because he's a 21 beater and can search for Evil Tiles. Then we have two Evil Sword Diplos. He's actually my favorite. When he's summoned from an Evil Tile, he can destroy a spell or trap card on the field. Then we're going to have three Evil Sword Volcanoes. He allows you to spell summon an Evil Sword from the graveyard when he's summoned by an Evil Tile. Really helpful, really easy to get into those rank fours. We have the Hydra Gedons for the attack into rank fours, plus the additional attacks are very nice. Then we also have three Drek Gwybas. Again, similar for the Hydrogedon. However, you do not get the extra attack. He's just going to become uh, a rank 4 fodder kind of guy. Moving on to the spells and traps, or more specifically the spells for right now, we are going to have three Evo Diversities. I run these over Fossil Dig because they can also search Evo Tile Monsters and not just Evo Source. We have three Evo Forces. These are kind of your main combo piece. They allow you to tribute an Evil Tile to get an Evil Sword or count it as Evil Tile summoned. Evil Karma is a good continuous. Primordial Soup is another good continuous. Uh, and then we also run two Evo Prices. Uh, all of the continuous cards allow you to do something Evo Price destroys. Evo Primordial Soup allows you to draw extra cards. Dark Holes, two of them. And then uh, Evo Miracle at two, kind of a forbidden lance for Evos. Three Mystical Space Typhoons because back row sucks, even with uh, Solemn Judgment on legs. Book of Moon because he can help protect and set your Evil Tile Westlows again. And then we are going to go into Traps. Three Evo Singularities. This is what brought the deck back into functionality. It allows you to get a uh, basically rank four if you have an Evil Sword and Evil Tile in Graveyard. One Mirror Force for protection. One Royal to keep. One Royal Decree because trap cards suck, even with a Solemn Judgment on legs. And that's pretty much all for the deck. Sorry that some of them was fast and rushed through. Uh, we're going to be moving on to the extra deck now, and like I said, it's incomplete, but we're going to start off with three Evil Sword Lagias. These are the Solemn Judgments on legs that I was talking about. Next we have Evil Sword Dalka. These are the Breakthrough Skills on legs. And finally, we only run, or I only run, one Evelsor Solda, because that's all I have. Uh, he's pretty cool. He can destroy things and stop himself from being destroyed. Uh, and that's really all of the deck is. And now we're going to go into a quick dis Due to the fact that I was trying a new thing with doing a voiceover on the deck, I have to make some changes, or rather state some more things, and that is with the continuous spell cards. Two of a price because the card destroys things when a monster is summoned by an Evil Tile effect. Uh, Promotal Soup allows you to shuffle back in your kind of dead Evil Sore monsters from your hand into the deck while drawing some more cards. And then we have Evil Karma, which stops your opponent from activating effects when a monster is summoned by an evil tile effect. Uh, all of these cards are good. I wouldn't really recommend running more than what I run, but again, that's completely up to you. For making my deck list more competitive, what I would do is take out five cards, so it goes from 45 down to 40. First thing, period, end of discussion. Uh, the cards that I would take out for that would probably be the Hydrogedons and the Evo Miracles, just because those are just 
less consistent, less helpful cards out there. Uh, you might want to try and keep the Hydrogenons by removing some other one, other dinosaur type monsters, but I would advise against it. And one last thing for making this deck list a little bit more competitive is to try and get four or five search cards, which means either three Evo Die Force three Evo Diversities and two Fossil Digs or three Fossil Digs and two Evo Diversities just because that'll allow you for like kind of the maximum variation in search and so you can grab what you want when you need it. Uh, the problem with Evo Diversity is while it can search for Evo Tile included, you can only activate one Evo Diversity per turn. So if you draw all three of them, it gets really cloggy and can sometimes be pretty scary. That was my Evo deck. Again, it's a little weird because I don't have a full extra deck and there is 45 cards to it. Um, if I wanted to make this more competitive, I would definitely take out a few things and cut it back down to 40, but I like how it is. I, I like having fun. I'm This is my gimmick deck, something that I play with when I want to use an archetype to its kind of fullest. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up for Evels. Come on, we got evolution. We go from lizards to dinosaurs to dragons, and dragons are always awesome. Subscribe to me if you deem me worthy. Support me if you wish. Have a wonderful day, guys. See ya.